Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you the continue video about my rig, 3D printed rig. And it's look like this because this is what I print. And the handle I'm going to show you in a second. But this is what I print for this camera. And this is GX80. You put it on like this. And then you have the handle which you can see in one second. And I also make an adapter that you can use it with a mobile link in the description below about this video. And I also make an extension here so you can use it with a bigger camera like Sony A7 GH4. I was managed to make it in a second video to fit with a Sony A7, everything is fine. But then I discover a problem, you can also see in the video, that it's not fits totally with the GH4. So I fixed the file. The files I give on this video to print, this is fits the GH4 and it's a few more changes. But then I thought, why don't I print it myself? And then I'm going to show it to you after it's been printed. And also the difference between this one, the long on this one and, and the long on the new part that I print. But first I want to show you the rig, which is like totally full with screen, a Ninja Blade screen, Sony 87 with a microphone, with a top handle from small rig, everything. So I'm going to change this to this. As you can see here, this is a totally full rig, Sony 87 Ninja Blade screen with a big battery. I just put it for test. and see how it's handled and it's handled very very good but big battery 8000 milliamp road microphone and also handle from small rig with a nato clamp which i mount here with two screws so that's very nice the changes that i make it's also if you see here the microphone i put a cold shoe here before it was outside of the frame and then it was broke because it wasn't printed so well so I dip it inside so now it's much better and you can put the microphone as you've seen before I'm gonna put it back and this seems to work much better and I use a small magic arm so called here so you can mount the screen and a short 30 centimeter cable HDMI. Now here you need to use a HDMI which is 45 degree angle because it's not fits directly so you need to make sure that you get a cable like this. Overall your hand it's get in better grip when you use it like this. Now the Panasonic GH4 this I put it on it fits perfect it's no problem just that in one side you can put all your hand inside and on the other side you can put a little inside but it's still good grip I wish I could make it one centimeter longer on the right side so this hand need to be a little longer outside so you can put your full hand but I think it's I think it's still nice and it's working perfect, but for those of you that like things to be even better, you need to consider to take it one centimeter to the right. So if you see here, I put it compared to this other part. As you can see, this is a little longer. You can see it better now. One more thing that I've done, you don't have to do that, but one more thing that I've done is I'm, I use a weld machine to weld one screw on top of here, right on the edge and right on the edge here. So I only need to use and lock uh, one screw. And as you already seen before, if you pay attention, I have two sets of screws. So one screw for the short version and one set of screws for the long version, which I have it right here. And also you can see the extension that I put the white one under here. So this is also something that if you want you can do. Now I have a rig for the Sony A7, aluminium from small rig, so I don't even use it so much with this rig. But for the GH4, 
I use it because it costs some money to buy one from small rig but this one it's perfect you can use a screen you can use microphone I cannot use a screen on my GH4 as my GH4 HDMI output it's damaged so I cannot use a screen on it but it's have a screen that you can tilt so it's not going to be any problem and maybe in the future I will print another set of handles so I have two sets of rig instead change but for now I think it fits what I need and I want to introduce you to my new Osmo mobile tree that I have I'm gonna make a full review about this just wanna give you some teaser about what's upcoming DJI Osmo Mobile 3 stay tuned for my future video now also subscribe to my channel and like and share and any comment below will be welcome I will answer each and every one of you so that's all I want to show you today my 3d printed rig is finally full Sony A7 GH4 that's all for today as I say as always stay creative stay tuned and I will see you on my next video thank you very much for watching bye bye